Welcome to a Transformers Tuesday where we have the Wave 4 Galaxy version of the blockies for Transformers. We have nine different ones. On the picture here, you see 10 robots because we have a chromed version of, of uh, Shockwave, which is one out of four cases. So he's a 25% he's a possibility of getting him if you buy an entire case. Now, if you buy an entire case, you're going to get all nine of them whether you get the regular version or the chrome version of shockwave and if you're looking at into the case they're almost arranged like a tic-tac-toe like one two three four five six seven and this is the eighth one so i'm right here in the case i don't have enough room in here to show you the case and i forgot to put something in the other bag right for the last one sorry the last one i did was all right well this all right we'll just put them to the side for now all right what i try to do is have a little baggie ready to put things in and I have a camera in my face so that's why i didn't see those two pieces until just now all right if you don't want to uh keep the box just rip into it if you want to keep it cut it out nice and neatly either way you're not going to harm what's inside you got to build the model kit inside and a lot of people have been asking me since series one because in series one i didn't build them on the camera i figured nobody wanted to see that i was wrong people wanted to see how to build it because they wanted to determine if it was difficult or if it was easy to do. And, um, you know, like, oh gosh, do I really want to do this? I don't have the dexterity. Yeah, I, I, trust me, these are not hard to build. This is where all the unique pieces are. Here's the pieces that the colors are different for each one. Well, most of them. So guessing from the purple I see right away, I've not built Tarn yet and I've not built smoke screen. Which one do you think the purple one is? That's right, it's Tarn. We get this one figure thing right here that's a stand. I don't usually use the stands. They, they normally stand just fine without them. Uh, the only exception may be RC and they have not made a G1 RC. She comes with the Rise of the Machines. The hands, um, you get two fists with holes in them to hold guns or weapons. And you get two splayed hands. I'm not a big fan of the splayed hands just because I don't, I don't know. I just, I just didn't grow up with the hands that are splayed on robots. Most of the robots I had were Shogun Warriors when I was a kid and they had the fist. I think only splayed hands was with C-3PO and oh well, that's just a bad example to begin with. So I'm gonna put them in there. These are exactly the same as each, uh, there's two of these in each one of these um, kits you get. And the only difference is they're colored, like maybe the black or pink or blue or whatever. And here's the pieces that will confirm that this is definitely Tarn. Now, I don't know anything about Tarn. He's the, the one that, it, up till now, it's been mostly G1 and he paints G1 characters. He is the brand new, not G1 figure. A lot of people complained about him on the uh, TF uh, Transformers 2005 page. And I'm like, eh, if he keeps the line alive, I'll go for it. I mean, whatever. I, I'm okay with getting a Tarn now. If they make something like... Hot shot. I'm not a big fan of Hot Shot. He's like that R2D2 head. You get a pog with his face on it or his name. So I put it in here so I'll know which one of this bag it goes to. Um, and then you get a little QR code on the back. Okay, so let's looking at the pieces right here. You can make sure this is one of the pieces that usually gets stuck in the bag if you're not careful. This is his eyes. Now you're like, huh? How does he see all of those? I like to build from the legs up. So these are the back halves of the legs. Just check to make sure if they're the same. And when I keep, say, keep, I'll keep using the word universal, it just means left and right is exactly the same. The fronts are not always the same. As you can tell, these are mirrored images of each other. And according to the picture, this is the correct order. This is the right and this is the left. So you can go ahead and assemble these. You just snap right together. All right, let's put the ankle joints in. I don't secure them all the way in tight. I make sure I put it, push it with the foot near the double click. The feet, they are universal, which most of the time is true. So far, every kit in here has had universal feet. All right, so if you hear the pop-up, you got it. So you'll hear the pop-up when you put them in, like it means the pop for this one and the pop on that one. Yeah, it was a double pop that time. All right. So we got again i'm like i'm not familiar with tarn so i'm just looking at one okay that's the feet the way to go all right connect that to the thighs we're going to need some joints um huh i'm beginning to think he's like um ultra magnus that according to the way this is built 
All right, so I'm not familiar with him, but evidently, yep. So these shoulder pieces are actually useless for him. So that's a first. Normally you need these shoulder pieces and I, that's why I'm like locate the this piece right here and put them on. But when I did that for Ultra Magnus, I had to take them back off because they are not part of it. Yeah, and in the Chinese writing right there, it shows like a little exclamation mark, like a warning sign and these little things. So evidently it's like saying, warning, warning, don't use those. I don't know, I can't read Chinese. So I'm just going to put those in the bag in case I ever need them one day. Not. All right. Um, so we do have to get these little pieces. If you want to know what these are, since this is going to be so unique, I'm not going to babble on about that. So just watch one of my videos. You can find out what these are for. It's just, they're not really anything. I use them as a communication piece for the arms and that's it. Here's what we need to get to. These are all, again, the elbows, the knees, they're the same. Just pop them all out. Save yourself some time. Pop everything out of the sprues from this point on. And then we're going to put two together. The male, the female, the male, the female, the male, the female, the male, the female. That's it. We'll have two knees and two elbows. And they're exactly the same size. So you don't have to worry about well, getting them mixed up. So you're putting them together. Make sure you got a male and a female. And make sure that you got, I'm so used to doing this, the, the that the bar goes from one to the other just continuously if you turn it around i think it'll pop out when you try to apply it so if i try to do like this whoa where'd it go <laughs> if i try to do it like this i think it'll pop back out so i think i did that one time it's like it wouldn't it just wouldn't stay in i was like why is it not oh and that's when i realized i was putting it on backwards All right and if any of these have like a little bit of leftover just scratch it off with your thumb or get finger nail clippers Okay. The way they also build the later ones, they build them so that you can see uh, clear parts and stuff like that. It's it's really interesting. So some of these pieces, they're trans, they're not translucent here, but they will be on another set later on. Here are the thigh pieces. They look a lot like the shoulder pieces, but they're a lot bigger, of course. The, the femurs. Just check to make sure that there's not a left and a right one. I haven't had any so far in this wave. Um, it doesn't matter which way you put the line on the outside or the dot on the outside. So just pick it because it's going to be covered up. Um, I put them on here first so I can stick them down into the boot. And see, it's covered up. So it doesn't matter which side goes out. Just make sure it bends backwards when you're done instead of going forward. So on this leg, just make sure that like again, it goes this way so that it bends backwards. All right, now we're gonna go to the thigh. Oops, earthquake. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I'm just double checking. Normally they don't matter which way is the front or back. It's universal either way. So just grab both of the crotch plates or I guess the crotch plate and the, bat, the butt plate. Stick them on and then decide which one's the front. I'll give you a hint. No paint, paint, front. Stick the legs on the ball parts whoops <laughs> okay it was a little bit i don't know what happened there it was a, all right and just kind of move around make sure you got them in good because otherwise they'll just pop right back off all right there we go here's where it's gonna be a little bit different so i'm watching the directions carefully and getting this pink piece this piece and i'm going to be putting it this way and there's like, you gotta slide in. Now, the reason there's a different plate here instead of just paint on the front, like right here, when they do a deluxe set of these, this will be a translucent piece and it'll have light going through it. Just like his eyes will be. Okay, do this. Now you won't be using the normal shoulder joints. So let me make sure I got this correct. This is the front of the back. That's the back. And then this is the front. Okay, I'm just not use that. And then this goes on the front. Plug it into the front. Goes on the tabs, and voila. Okay, hold on, let me double check. I'm, everything's squeezed in, because I feel like the, the pink part's not all the way in. All 
I've never seen anything with Tarn. I don't know anything about him, so I'm a G1 person. So if he's like, I heard from just people complaining about him that he's much later. He's not part of G1, which I, I knew he wasn't G1. Unless he's, he may be part of the comic books of G1, but he's not part of the toys of G1. Unless they had to rename him, like they had to do like Bumblebee or what was it? Not Bumblebee. They had to name, rename a few of them that, for a while. They're like Hot Rod. They couldn't name him Hot Rod for a while. And then they decided to go, oh, well, we can name him Autobot Hot Rod. I was like, well, duh. Why didn't you do that? All right. For the backpack piece. This is some different things here I'm not used to. So this goes right here. And then these things, they look through Universal. So they go up top and squeeze in. What does Tarn turn into? A tank or something? Nobody's answering me, so I guess you don't care. I'm just kidding. All right. Okay, I might as well go and put the neck piece in. And I'm going to squeeze down too tight. And we're going to put it onto the bottom half. All right. He's a lot more bulky, so he's like Ultra Magnus as far as his bulk is concerned. And maybe that's why they made him. Maybe his inside parts. No, nah, they're not. Because <laughs> he's these tread things here that are not Ultra Magnus. But it's very similar in the build. All right. Let me now build the head. There's some different pieces here I'm not used to. There's some head pieces. And then there's like a purple mask. All right. So I'm really focused on this because I have never seen this guy. So I'm not quite 100% sure what I'm building. It's like I'm building in the dark. I just know that the, the, the open part goes down on this. All right here's that. Okay. It, it looks like something from Machine Man without the mask on. Or like the Fembots or something from a uh, Final Woman. So you might be thinking, why don't they just paint the little pink parts right there? Wouldn't it have been easier? Uh, again, this is going to be connected to the clear piece. And that's going to be translucent on the deluxe one they're going to make later on. So you have our glowing eyes, glowing chest pieces, like those little dots. All right. So we got his head on. Now we got to build these arms, which are very different. Okay. So when I'm building the arms, this part of the arm is not that different. I go ahead and put this into the uh, bicep first. I locate the right arm, which has got the dot on the outside. I stick it in there and make sure it bends forward. And then I like to use the fist, which, yeah, he came with the other types too. And I put the right fist on here. Okay, these things go around the arms, but they're showing the left arm only, so I, I can visually memorize it. Okay. So I'm just having to do it backwards here. Uh, it appears that these pieces are universal and then these pieces. Okay. All right. So it looks like it's fine. This is the inside of the armpit. So, okay. I thought this has got to go in the hole, but there's no hole there. It's not. Okay. This is the hole for it. it this and this, it just extends the, the bicep or not. Yeah. The bicep. Okay, this comes around in couples with it. So it's just making a longer arm for this taller guy. All right, I'm definitely gonna measure him when I'm done because I wanna see how big he is. All right, for the left arm, I like to use the upper bicep part first. Normally I don't click it all the way in, but oh well, I did. I click it all the way in at this point. Now, if you're having a hard time getting it to go in, you might not have squeezed this together tight enough. You might have to go back and re-squeeze it. There, now it fits. There. Just make sure it's bending forward. Put the fist on. And this is like the diagram. That's just so weird because I was thinking, how is it going to fit on there? Because like, I, okay, so with Ultra Magnus, he did use the same shoulder joint, but he has extended parts on top of it, you know. That's one of the earlier videos, so just go back and watch that. All right, here we got the right arm. Does he not have a gun? I guess he's a BA, you don't need one. 
Or maybe those guns on his back are pop arounds. Like, no, they're, st st they're not really doing anything. He's got holes right here. So does this get used like this maybe? It's not showing on here what to do. I don't, I've never seen Tarn, so I mean, I don't know, except for whenever people are showing, like, this is the new figure. Oh my gosh, why does it make Tarn? Blah, blah, blah. Fire on fire. Catch my hair on fire. Yeah, he's definitely bigger. So the other ones are four inches tall slash um, 10 centimeters. Oh, my God, sorry. I remember hearing it fling across the room when they're first building. All right. So let's measure him. All right, so for inches. He is, you know, ironically, he's just over two inch, four inches tall. Let me try this again. He's four and a quarter inch tall for centimeters. That makes him 10 and a half centimeters. He's not that much taller. Let me, let me do this one more time. Yeah, about 10 and a half centimeters tall. Of course, normally I just kind of do it on the bottom and be done with it. So he... Well, never mind. That just kind of defeats what I said. All right, so that is Tarn. Um, his elbows are down lower because of this extension right here. And that means he does not have a shoulder shrug. He's an interesting character. I don't know anything about him. Obviously, he's a Decepticon because he's purple. And he's got the Decepticon symbol. Uh, he's got some big old legs. So, guys, uh, I highly recommend you pick these up. If you're one of these people that doesn't like Tarn because he's somebody I don't know look it's just one more character it's okay sometimes i'll pick up characters i don't know just because they're interesting if i saw this in a store for like the price i paid for this i'd have picked it up because it's like huh, he's kind of cool looking you know sometimes i buy things i don't know what they belong to just because of imagination all right well thanks for watching i have one more to do and that'll be it and i hope you guys are having a fantastic summer stay cool out there